and welcome to the program once again. My name is Peter Soko and this afternoon I have with me the pleasure of interviewing Marco Signorini, the CEO of Econet Wireless UK. Good afternoon Marco. Good afternoon Peter. We'll go straight into it. Um, Econet Wireless, is it the same as Econet Zimbabwe? Yes, we're part of the same Econet group, same Econet banner although Econet within its divisions uh, globally are autonomous piece by piece but generally owned by the same holding company yeah so we're owned by the group and, and how long have you been within the UK? well we originally arrived in the UK in 2000 as CEO of a company called Econet Satellite Services which today is known as Liquid Telecom that, um, so that's about 12 years that's been heading up they, they are fully responsible for all our international gateways, fibre international termination but this particular business Econet Mobile um, only I think we launched close on two years ago about 18 months to two years ago okay and what sort of services are you offering as Econet UK then? Well um, you know when we were at Liquid Telecom we dabbled slightly into the retail market through a prepaid calling card um, which we had exclusive distribution through people like WH Smith and um, it was successful in its own right but we saw we mixed too much wholesale and retail so okay. the idea was to launch under the Econet brand and okay. then go into the market primarily focused at retail, supplying those exact services, bringing our SIM cards, our, our, tech, our technology, our data and calling cards into this retail UK market. So we've got SIM cards, we've got calling cards. Calling cards. Those are yeah. the main things that we have. Yeah, they, they are the two main products at the moment. We, we do have um, some hardware, some handsets and a couple of other um, bits to the um, bouquet but generally we offer SIM cards as our number one brand from a roaming perspective and, uh, and an ethnic SIM card and also we do exclusivity, we distribute, we power the um, post office calling card across the UK's post offices exclusively. And you say you've been with for the last two years? Yeah, 18 months to two years. Yeah. But we, we haven't seen much of the Econet SIM cards. Um, I think in fairness, um, what we did originally, we tried different channels to market. So we would go into um, news agents and small ethnic environments to try and distribute from a, from a viral campaign through mainly community channels, churches, positions we found the Zimbabwe community to be present. And we found the uptake was generally quite slow. So I think we, came, we, we sort of drew back and said, let's see how do we attack this market differently. Okay. And subsequently, we've relaunched into a much bigger distribution um, through a retail um, position with a company called, well, it's our, our, biggest, our biggest distributor um, through, a, um, it's a company called Pre-Solutions. Okay. And, and so they, they distribute both the SIM cards and the calling cards? No, at the moment, only the SIM cards. Um, the, the, the calling cards still at the moment are distributed to the post office. Um, but that's a post office branded card uh, powered by Econet Mobile. But this, uh, the, the, the retail presence at the moment is only with um, pre solutions on, on, on a SIM card basis. So let, let's, let's go back to the calling card. Um, that's the one that you can find via the post office, you can say, to, across the country. Yes, but that's a post office card. It's a post office card. It's yeah, so not branded Econet, it's branded UK post office. So what's, it, what's the benefit for that then, of, of that, if, if there's a post office card, but it's Econet that we're trying to push through it? Okay, let me, let's put it this way. Um, the post office have about 11,800 distributions. They're a very credible brand, as we know, it's the UK post office. And um, they, they've had their own calling card for a good few years now. And they've changed suppliers from a point of sustaining the back end of the whole engine for the UK calling card, be it the billing, the distribution, the, um, the whole back-end control, customer service, everything is done through Econet Mobile. So if you, look, if you go into the UK Post Office today and you buy one of their cards and you turn it around, you'll see our brain that we sort of engineer the right. whole T's and C's, everything for the UK Post Office. And using that calling card to phone back, phone back to Zimbabwe, uh, are there any major advantages over other branded cards? Um, I, I think, Peter, to answer that question, yes, they, they, the, the, sh the short answer is yes, there are a lot of advantages to it. Um, I, you know, we're a very competitive card in the environment that we operate. Well, the SIM card is specific to Africa. Right. Um, right. With, um, I think that our, our number one underlying quality, if I just go back to the reason we won the um, post office con contract was because of um, the class of service. 
You know, if you read the latest Ofcom report, I won't say names today, but there are operators in this market where um, Ofcom quoted certain operators that um, the consumer realizes 13 pence, that's 13% of the pound on purchasing co competitive pro products. So the main reason we won the post office agreement is because what, you know, we offer a class A service. There's no skimming, there's no hidden charges, there's no hidden connection charges. So we all know a minute is 60 seconds right. and you can even operate like that. You know, we, 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 our minutes are 60 seconds as they should be. Okay. We know that it goes right down to 47 second minutes. And the consumer, unfortunately, is not aware of it, you know. So that is the advantage to using an Econet card, be it a calling card, be it a post office card, be it our SIM card. You know, you get value for money. Uh, I'll just ask that again in a different way. Yeah. Are you categorically sure that we are able to get the full value from the calling cards? Yes, 100%. Yes, without a doubt, on our SIM card and our calling card. That's refreshing. That's refreshing compared to what, what is on the market at the moment. That's very much refreshing. Um, so back to the SIM card. Now, if I, uh, when, when you had SIM cards, I think when they came in a few months ago initially, and, and, and you had them, like you said, in, in some sort of sectors or quarters, um, the, the disadvantage or the big negative about them was they were not competitive enough compared to other products on the market, um, particularly in for new back in Southern Africa, Zimbabwe more importantly. Um, is that the same with the SIM cards now, or are they slightly more...? Well, I, I, you know, we try and remain competitive always, Peter, and we do, and literally we do analysis daily on, on competitive prices and, and where we are. And I can say in the top 10, 20 destinations, we, we, we have an offer currently that if you pay £20 for a, um, a, a card with, with, with a £20 top-up, you get £20 free. I mean, the effective rate of that is destinations like Zimbabwe of 50% of other people's costs, you know, and again there there's no hidden charges. How long can we sustain with those kind of discounts is not that easy, but um, there's definitely a huge advantage to that. You know, we are very competitive in the market today and we've seen that by our volumes. Marco, um, in Zimbabwe, Econet is the biggest mobile operating service. Yes. Now. In the UK, how, how can somebody in the UK using an Econet SIM card benefit anybody in Zimbabwe or the other way around? Anybody in Zimbabwe benefit somebody in the, in the UK? Um, Peter, you know, we, we, we have initiatives um, like, you know, from, from, ta from, from time to time, which we can still do again, where um, if you had to purchase a £5 Create a, a voucher from an Econet on a £5 SIM, SIM card, we give you five US dollars to top up with, with an access pin, a relative in, in Zimbabwe. Our specials change from time to time. At the moment we've got the 20 and 20, but there's no reason why we couldn't reintroduce from another way, from another package or, or a deal on our website, where we can do the same thing. So Because that, that, that would be, I think, of, of great benefit. Um, anybody who's here, I mean, but my, I, I would need an incentive to use the Econet SIM card compared to any other SIM card. And more importantly, if I know that whatever I'm going to be using here will have some sort of benefit to whoever I'm going to be bringing back, um, back into Zimbabwe particularly. Yeah, look, I think, um, Peter, that's a good idea. And, you know, it's, it's something we've had in the past and we've still got access to those pins and we can, you know, we can reintroduce it again. And, I mean, I mean, that is a benefit. Another quick question for you. If I have an Econet SIM card here and I bring somebody in Zimbabwe with an Econet SIM card there, is there any value that I get compared to phoning say, another brand within Zimbabwe again, from an Ethernet SIM card here in the UK? Well, at the moment, the, the, the real value you have is we have the, the cheapest rate to Zimbabwe um, combined with the best quality. You know, you right. may find in the market where people say, well, we have a better rate, but, um, you know, you always see these little asterisks of 1p a minute to Zimbabwe, and then it's a landline or something that just doesn't terminate, you know. So if you compare apples for apples, I think our biggest USP is we have the cheapest, the most competitive rate in the market with the best quality, without a doubt. I was just going to go on the quality. Um, again, that, that's something that is very frustrating if you're trying to use any of the, the, the um, popular SIM cards or calling cards to phone back. And the, the quality is, is, is rather poor, to be honest. Um, how, how well is it can compared to the rest? Um, you know, Peter, our, our quality is excellent. I mean, I think we run a customer service 24-7 like most of the operators do in this market. 
and the calls we have for poor quality are none. There's maybe one or two a month and then there's genuinely a technical fault which gets addressed. You see, if you look at people's routine tables without getting too, te too technical, you know, there have got to be ways that you can try and save in this market as an operator. And obviously, you know, as I said to you, there's people out there doing 30, 40, 50, 60 second minutes. The other way is quality. So you find, you, you get routes without CLI, which is call line identification, or you get, if you speak to carriers, they, they have their, their, their platinum routes, or they have their gold routes, or it goes all the way down to bronze and possibly wood. You know, and this is the problem. People use this very inferior IP link that right. you, you, you hear your own voice echoing, you hear yes. the buzzing in the background, yes. you know, those are the common te technologies or, or, or wordings of, of, of the quality of service. So this is, we have absolutely none of that. Where do you find the SIM cards? Um, you know, we, as I said, you know, we've launched now with a new distributor. I mean, the, the easiest place for anyone to access the card is obviously online, especially out of the UK, because you order a card today, you get it tomorrow, because um, we do have an efficient postal service. Other than that, you know, you'll find us in some of the high street retailers. Um, we're not in the Asda's and the Tesco's at the moment, although I know our main distributors working on certain um, retail parts of the market. As I said, we, we've recently relaunched. Um, but the best option at the moment currently is to get the SIM card online. Because you, you, you tend to find that um, if I'm on a high street and, and, and I'm looking for a SIM card to use, I'm looking for whatever product I can use to phone um, back, back home, back in Zimbabwe particularly, it, as I walk past this little stall, I'm, I'm able to I'm see, I see so many brands of other different sort of cards there. And it's easier for me just to pick it up and then just sort of run with it than to then have to go back home and go on the computer and, and make an order, etc. Et et I, I think, uh, Peter, what we'll need to do somehow on our site is list an area of um, where people can get the cards. You know, you, you, you need to understand the industry is really, really difficult. Um, we, we, we went into, I can even say, thousands of these small little shops, if you want to call them, from yeah. news agents to retailers. And what you find is that. Um, Bundles get broken, SIM card packages get opened, um, they, you know, the, the, the operator gets a bigger kickback from this person, so, right. you know, we, we've had that presence, and even though people do walk in, they say, oh, well, look, you know, we confronted by this other brand who says, you know, we called selling your card, or, it's, 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 it's quite challenging, you know, the honest truth, it is challenging, but, you know, we've gone into a really good di distribution at the moment, um, which is a new relationship for us. Um, it only started literally a month ago. And, um, you know, we will start making awareness more and more and more. But at the moment, it is relatively new. That's the SIM card. And the topping up of the SIM card, is, is, it, is it better topping online or how yeah, is well, top it topping up? Topping up online is so simple. You know, it's just like purchasing the product. But again, um, wherever we will sell the SIM card, you'll be able to buy a voucher to top up. Okay, and then um, back to the bigger picture, what, 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 what do you have for Econet UK? What excitement can you create? What can we look forward to? Econet being the biggest <laughs> <laughs> operator in the UK. Yeah. Um, you know, I think what, what Econet is going to bring to the party, I mean, there's some exciting developments, you know. Um, as you know, Econet has a presence at the moment. Well, if you don't know, we're in Zimbabwe, Botswana, Lesotho, Kenya, Nigeria, Burundi. Um, we have an MBNO in South Africa. Um, we have interests in various areas of the world that also um, exclude communication. So Econet has a global foot footprint. and. Um, there, there are some exciting things happening, you know, I don't know if you've been following our main website, but we've recently won uh, a court case against Barty Airtel. We've got, we've got Nigeria back through, through the courts, we're not in control at the moment, I know there's some things happening at the moment which I can't speak about yet, but if you go on our website, you know, everything's there for public knowledge, um, you, you, you can track it yourself. So there's some exciting things that are happening back in Africa that we're going to try and link into um, into the UK. You know, we've got products like EcoCash, EcoLife back, back in Zimbabwe, and we're looking at ways of, of, of marrying the two into this market as well. Oh, well, first of all, congratulations about the uh, winning the case in, in Nigeria. Thank, Thank you very much. Yeah. Really, really a big relief, I'm sure. It's, it's been going on for the last seven, eight years, I think it yes, is. Yes, it's been for a while. Uh, but you've just on a, on a very interesting point. Equal cash, are we looking at getting that many times soon? Because uh, there's a lot of transfer of, of finances back to Zimbabwe. 
by the diaspora and within the UK. Is that what we look forward to as well? Y yes, it's something that we're working on. Um, you know, I think our chairman always a philosophy, perfect things in your own backyard and then bring, then bring them out into the open world. So that's what's happening at the moment. You know, we have, um, not to digress, but um, if you go on our main website as well, or on the Econet Solar website, you can see that we, we're venturing now also into um, a solar prepaid solution, which you can also top up um, over an Econet mobile phone. At the moment, more in Zimbabwe, but eventually it'll also come to here. If you have someone living in back home in Africa or back home in Zimbabwe and they, and they need to top up the uh, four light solar powered Econet system, they can buy a voucher and you can top it up there. So that'll all be affiliated, connected, or related some way to an Econet cash product that you could get out of the UK. And, and um, you, you've got a global presence, like you've said. Um, are, are you in areas like the USA where there's, there's a plethora of Zimbabweans, or in Australia, or areas like that? Or do you intend to sort of, sort of dip into those areas sooner rather than later? Um, I, you know, I, those strategic decisions always guided by our, our um, executive group chairman, and Mr. Strauss and Siwa. But, you know, anywhere and everywhere, he's always very open. And, um, you know, watch the space. You know, there the, the are things happening, yes. We, we, we're not currently in the US from a point of Econet, but we do have, we certainly have a presence in the US, yes. And I'm um, talking of Mr. Uh, Mr. Masi, well, um, he's just recently, I believe, got the, um, or awarded the Chairman's Award of the Zimbabwe Achievers uh, Awards 2012. Um, how is that affecting Econet UK? What's, what's the, the buzz around that? Well, look, it's, we're always very grateful for awards, you know. It's always an honour, especially being affiliated with in, anything to do with Zimbabwe for us. You know, when, when, when we venture into the diaspora like we are here. Um, so it's an honour, you know. Um, we like to stick it as an accolade on our, on our um, collage of, of awards that come to Econet, coming, coming out of Africa. So yeah, it's it's great for us, you know, because it's, it's something that we're proud of, and you know, we, we show the rest of the world that you know Zimbabwe has something. So it's great. And and talking of um, being proud of, of Zimbabwe, the, the awards uh, I believe are going to be uh, in April two thousand and twelve. Um, if you're watching this after April two thousand and twelve, the awards would have been and gone, but all the same. Um, are you looking forward to 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 anything in particular at the awards or? It's going to be your first time there, or you've been you've been there before as Econet. Um, I, I have I, I've been there before as Econet, and I would like to attend again, and um, <laughs> it'll it'll be great. And as you say, you know, if the viewers are watching it afterwards, I will have already been there. If they are watching it before, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, it's going to be good. I and mean, we, we we always come up with some sort of initiative or incentive or surprise on 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 venues or functions like that. So. I think my team haven't come back to me with any ideas yet, but I'm sure there will be something that we'll do on the evening. Okay. So you, you, you do say that you're excited about being at the awards. Um, is there anything that the general public can look forward to from eConnect at the awards? Well, you know, I'm sure we're going to be giving away phones, airtime, air vouchers, credits, you know, from, from a mobile operator perspective. Yeah, so, the, you know, those are the couple of free phones, maybe more. You, know, you heard that? Free SIM phones, SIM cards, cards airtimes, the rest. And maybe even some of our solar products. You know, we have some amazing solar lanterns, which are very, very popular in Zimbabwe. It's the, it's the latest buzz in Zimbabwe. If you go online, you'll see our generation one, two, and three lanterns, which are solar powered, which have just taken Zimbabwe by storm. We've sold, I think, close to a quarter million in six months. Wow. So it's really wow. made a difference to people in, in, in the community because the uniqueness of that particular lantern is not only, not only is it a solar light but also charges a mobile phone. So it's quite unique. Charges so, only an Econet type mobile phone? Or any no, it can charge phone. any mobile phone. But being generous so. there. Um, so to wrap this up, Marco, is there anything else that you, you might want us to, to, you might want to relay to the um, watching? In, in summary, you know, Econet has entered into the UK. Um, you know, we have an awesome footprint. We have people like the UK Post Office who entrust us to do an amazing job for them from a point of um, retail distribution and back end for um, their calling card. 
and um, we'd love the community to support us. You know, um, our, our SIM card is, I think our slogan or our payoff line, it does what it says on the SIM. You know, as I said before, you know, th there's an integrity in our brand. Our chairman, Mr. Stroud Masiu, always says, you know, our business is not trying to get one or two or three P from the, the, the consumer in the street. You know, then we shouldn't be in business. So it's a matter of um, showing the, take the integrity of what we represent and what we do. So, yeah, we're very excited about that, you know. Marco, thank you very much for joining us on this program and all the very best to reconnect to the UK. Thank you so much.